The research that was put into this book is huge. Uh, it started with an idea that I had a long time ago um, and I tried to pursue for my PhD degree, but for many reasons, couldn't. The idea was em uh, embraced years later by my mentor and uh, former head of English uh, department in Pittsburgh, uh, Professor David Koffer. The research took around three years and lots of negotiations and sometimes arguments. The research has taken a life of its own and made us confront our own stereotypes about women in general, myself as an Arab woman and David about Arab women. This was not an easy task at all. It took us years of neutralization. We had to reconstruct a lot of our conceived and preconceived notions and what we believed or thought as our beliefs. To do this research justice, we had to be as objective as possible and mute our own agendas, but not voices. We still had to stand besides what we believed the most, and that is, women worldwide are just as capable of achieving great things as men and should be treated equally. The research has also attracted our co-authors and research team to take on this challenge of objectivity, and they have kept us both on track and real. And thus, I would like to thank Sigru in Pittsburgh and Kira, who's here among the crowd. Kira, please stand up. Thank you so much. You are the glue that kept this research together. Thank you. This book is dedicated to Her Highness, Sheikha Moza bin Nasser. If it wasn't for her, I would have not had the courage to, or the social acceptance to be here today. She took on herself the challenges that made it possible for my generation and the generations that followed to be among Arab women achievers. For three years, I breathed this book. I talked about it, I dreamt of it, so I would like to thank my family, my lovely strong mother, my father and my siblings and husband, who gave me the space and the healthy support that I needed.